That's right. Let's go ahead and jump into it. That's right. Let's continue to kick off the 31 days of Halloween, baby. First up, I'm going to be talking about Blood Moon 2014. That's right. Directed by Jeremy Wooding. That's right. This is an action horror thriller western. That's right. More more thriller than action, really. And I'll talk about it a little bit. But here's the quick uh, here's a quick plot synopsis. A stagecoach of travelers, a gunslinger, and two outlaws arrive in a deserted mining town lit by the glow of a reddish full moon. As their worlds collide, they are hunted by a beast that only appears on the night of a blood moon. Yes. So I'm getting ready to give my thoughts on this. And you guys know that I love westerns and I love horror movies. So this is kind of like a uh, a, a no-brainer for me. Yes, we're good. We got, I recently watched Swamp Thing in 4K. The suit was pretty poorly made, but the <laughs> you're talking about talking about Adrian uh, 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 Bubo. Is that what you're? <laughs> yes, she is. She is extremely talented. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's cool that you're watching it, man. That's awesome that you got some Swamp Thing. We love us some Swamp Thing on here. Yes, but now let's get back to. Uh, Blood Moon. Again, I love werewolf movies. I love westerns. I've seen a few here and there where they tried to combine the two, and it was not good. It was not good. Now, with this movie here, uh, it, majority of the complaints and negativity that I've seen where people just fucking hate this movie online is they keep saying it's boring, uh, nothing happens, and you know it's just a, it's just a talkie, not a shooty. Now, when I what I have preferred a shooty over a you know a little bit more shooty over talky, yes, but uh, what's here I don't think it's as bad as everyone claims it to be. Uh, but you have our our, our ragtag of uh, characters, and they've uh, unfortunately uh, you have these two criminal brothers here. These guys are just up to no good, and uh, they robbed a bank in town. And so, and they end up kind of taking everybody hostage. This town is kind of run down. There's kind of really nobody there. And so you have the wagon bringing, you know, the passengers through, but they end up getting uh, stopped by our character, our main lead right here. Uh, this character, Sean Dooley, who plays Calhoun, uh, kind of flags down uh, the wagon and kind of bums a ride. Uh, and, the, and our, you know, there, our passengers get brought to this small town. Unfortunately, they they get a uh, kind of. Uh, I'll talk about this character a little bit later, but unfortunately, the brothers, you know, they're still kind of on the run because they robbed a bank earlier. So they kind of take everybody hostage in this little saloon area. And keep in mind, is is a really small, rundown town. There's really nobody else there. And so you know, they kind of take them by hostage, and you know, they're they're up to no good. Most likely they're going to do something terrible to the women and they're going to end up killing the men. Again, the complaints of this film are it's boring. There's nothing happening. Uh, you know, I kind of beg to differ a little bit. I think there's some, this is a more, this is like, a, this turned into a one location uh, type of horror setting. And you know, I like, you know, one location movies. And for the low budget that this film had, they actually did a pretty good job for the budget that they had, which was which was very low, uh, to put together pretty pretty good, well made scenes with the actors and characters, and pretty good suspenseful dialogue, uh, because this movie actually did a pretty good job of you don't really know who's gonna die, you know, uh, throughout the film, you know, you get a couple of people here and there that get shot and get killed, and you didn't really see that coming at all. So there was really no one safe. And this movie did a really good job, um, you know, putting all these characters together. And it was, it was actually pretty good. You know, like I have a lot more patience than some other people, <laughs> but, but, but things still have to happen. You know, like, you know, I've complained about movies where nothing's happening before. Um, but uh, there still has to be something, even if it's a slow burn, there's gotta be something interesting about it. Right. And for me, it kind of worked. Uh, it kind of worked for me. For me, it worked because, uh, you again, you don't know who is safe. You don't know really who is safe in this film. But unfortunately, uh, we got a werewolf. <laughs> we got a werewolf. 
uh, outside and he's hungry. That's right. A couple of they've been finding a couple of dead bodies around, and it doesn't look like it was done. You know, done by you know coyotes. They they assume some assumed it was coyotes killing people, but the way they were stripped and how the uh, the uh, the coyotes don't cover their tracks after they get, after they get done mauling someone. Uh, but uh, yeah, so there is a legend going around uh, of the whole Skinwalker thing and and stuff like that. So some people did bring up the fact that uh, maybe we do have a werewolf uh, in the area. So now we have a little bit of a dog soldier type of setting where it's just our crew here. Um, basically holding out as long as they can uh, with no help, no one co really coming to save them. A sheriff ends up showing up towards the end and he does, he does his best to kind of help out the group and help them defend themselves. Um, but it is kind of that kind of setting where it's just, you know, they're alone in one location. It's dark at night. They hear howling, you know, uh, but if here's the, the, the bad thing about the film is if there, if there was more than one werewolf, like in a dog soldier setting, they didn't really do a good job because it kind of felt like it was just one <laughs> werewolf. And I've seen other reviews of this movie where they were like, yeah, a whole bunch of werewolves keep attacking these people and they have to defend. It's like, ah, well, it's kind of like you, you have, you always see one and it's so rare throughout the movie, especially the middle part of the film that it feels like, it's, they're just dealing with just one werewolf. You know, a werewolf comes through the window and tries to grab someone. They shoot it, it runs away, and then later it comes back later to try again, right? So throughout the night, uh, there's some pretty good tense uh, moments. Uh, but now, you know, who do you trust? Should you, Do you team up with these criminals, right, and have a little assault on Precinct 13 action, right? Do you team up? You know, uh, you know what do you do towards... towards uh, towards the uh, third act of the film and the finale. Uh, you get some more backstory with some of the characters, and some of them are not all what they seem. Uh, but this character is my favorite. Anna Scalern. Yes. Uh, she was great in the film. She used to be a... She used to own her own saloon because she's gangster like that. <laughs> and she was a badass when it came down to it. I didn't like what... It, her, she played the character of Marie. I didn't like what they did with her character at the end of the movie. I was kind of like, ah, that kind of that kind of sucks, but um, I won't spoil it. Uh, but yeah, she was the most interesting, uh, I would say, um, throughout the film, at least in terms of characters. And you have this other guy here. He's a, a, a law man who basically uh, met this uh, prostitute. He doesn't know she's a prost former prostitute. But they got together for a couple days and they already were planning on getting married because that's how you did it back then. God damn it. <laughs> uh, but again, you get some pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Who do you trust? Hubba, hubba, hubba. Money, money, money. Who do you trust? <laughs> Me? I'm giving away free money. And where is the bad man? He's at home washing his tights. <laughs> Sorry. I just had a Batman, Tim Burton, uh, Batman uh, mo uh, movie moment there. Thank you, Sumo. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, but, yeah, overall, uh, pretty pretty solid one-location suspense horror movie. Uh, we did need more action. And just, just think about it. The whole setting is pretty creepy if you stop and think about it an abandoned old town in the old wild west and you are just with a couple of other people you're running low on ammo no one's really coming to coming to save you or coming to help and then there's a motherfucking werewolf out there hunting to kill so that the setting alone uh very well done very well done uh we could have used a lot more action you know but for the most part i i was more disappointed with the finale uh, of the film. The action finale of the film was was kind of a letdown. It was kind of like, all right, we got to end the movie now, go. And it was, you know, it was kind of a letdown. See, I was patient throughout the movie. The throughout the whole film, the again, the complaints people were like it was boring, nothing's happening, blah blah blah. It's like it's, it's like a it's like a stage play, blah blah blah. I I was patient. I didn't really have that much of an issue that everyone else did, but I was still expecting 
some kind of satisfying action finale. And unfortunately, you, you don't really get that uh, in here. It's just kind of, okay, we're done now, and, and now we have to move on. Uh, the, the werewolf creature design is actually not bad. It's actually not bad. There's some spotty CGI moments that are rough. They're like, ugh, that, that did not look right at all. <laughs> um, and then there was some other waste, wasted characters. Uh, like this character right here, Eleanor Matsura plays a character called Black Deer, and she she's a tracker. So she teams up uh, with the sheriff uh, to find uh, to find these to find these people. And unfortunately, she it was very rushed and kind of sloppily put together her reveal of being a skinwalker uh, this whole time. It was kind of a cool transformation, but it happens out of nowhere, and you know her, she's kind of friends with the sheriff so she kind of attacks the sheriff out of just kind of like you know out of that's just how she reacted but then she realized oh shit i don't want to kill the sheriff and then she kind of runs away and the movie just kind of forgets about her you see her later sitting sitting around by herself but <laughs> we didn't do anything with her i thought it would have been dope if she used her uh, abilities to, you know, help fight and take on uh, the werewolf at the end. Now, how cool that would have been. You had who was left with, with, with whatever ammo they had left. And uh, with the sheriff uh, fighting fighting off the werewolf, I think that would have been a, a way more better and satisfying uh, finale uh, for the film. <laughs> uh, but, but, you know, it is what it is, again, you know, the negatives are here. Kind of some characters were wasted, especially this character. And when you see the movie, you're going to be like, really? <laughs> I won't ruin what happens to her, but it's just kind of like, okay. All right. So much for that. Uh, but again, a great setting, great concept, uh, some suspenseful scenes, uh, good old fashioned one location movie. And uh, you get a werewolf. You get a little werewolf bonus. Could it use more werewolves? Yes. Could it use a lot more action? Of course. Uh, my major pet peeve, though, was the finale. Uh, really uh, kind of dropped the ball there. Um, but uh, for the small budget that they had, uh, you know, they, they they created a decent atmosphere uh, for this for this you know little horror western. So I've seen worse horror westerns than uh blood moon uh but yeah i'll give it a recommendation now that you know what you're getting into <laughs> if you had high expectations or if you were expecting dog soldiers in the in the wild west then yeah you're gonna be you're gonna be doing that uh by the end but uh you know if any if anything that i said interests you go and check it out for yourself and uh you know let me know uh, what you thought about it yeah that's it for blood moon and uh i recommend it <laughs>